Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's talk about speeding up your vibrato. Sometimes we can have a look at our vibrato and it looks very slow. So how do you get your vibrato to go faster? Well, lighten everything. Lighten it. You don't get fast vibrato by digging in and trying harder and using all your muscles like this. You can't sustain that. It doesn't work. Um, it's just like playing fast on the, the violin. You don't um, press harder, you press more lightly. That's the secret of playing faster. And it's the same with vibrato. Try and get a note that is almost on the point of being so light on the with the left hand that it's almost whistling with the bow. There we are. I'm playing very, very lightly. So let's see how lightly we can play um, and get a decent note. That's very light. I'm not pressing right down on the string like this. Everything can move faster when you play more lightly. So let's get the first note. Lighten it, lighten it, lighten it. Make it smaller, make it smaller, make the movement smaller. Uh, a lot of people try to do vibrato and the movement becomes bigger and bigger, right? But the key to doing fast vibrato is for the movement to get smaller and smaller and lighter and lighter, right? So this needs to be practiced. Let's just take an individual note E on the D string. Now lighten it, lighten it, lighten it until you're almost whistling. I think one thing with vibrato is that if you can detach your bowing away from your vibrato, for example, play a piano with your left hand and forte with your right hand. It seems very difficult to do, but once you get the knack of being able to play quite loudly with your right hand and quite lightly with your left, you will find that your left can do more. It's got more facility. It can move faster. It can move much faster. So that's the secret. Now how to do it? Um, play something like the beginning of the Bach double. Now it sounds very flaky, but this is the way to get everything working much, much faster. So let's come back to the beginning of Salud d'Amour. Just to get the, the left hand used to the idea that it doesn't have to um, be like little hammers going on the string. In fact, that really holds you back. So I think one thing that really helps vibrato is trills. Because in a trill, you haven't got time to bang down the fingers, which a lot of people, I think this is the basic problem with a very heavy, slow vibrato, is that the fingers are being banged down far, far too heavily. 
on the string. And with a trill, you haven't got time to do that. You're playing the note, but lightly enough so that you can move fast, right? You haven't got time to... That's far too slow. So try some trills. Because we don't have enough time to bang the finger down and slow everything down um, with the second finger when we're playing trills. And that's a brilliant way to speed up your vibrato. It conditions your hand to learn how to play more lightly on the string, which is the key to um, playing faster and doing faster vibrato. So practice trills as fast as you possibly can. And lighten, 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 lighten because that's the impulse behind vibrato is the actual finger movements because the finger movements come from the knuckles here and running behind the knuckles are the tendons and if your vibrato is very slow then your tendons are still rather tight and trills are a brilliant way to just persuade them to loosen up a little bit so there you have some exercises great ones for speeding up your vibrato and I uh, hope you get on well with that, and bye for now.